Hey guys, welcome back. So if you saw my video from yesterday, which is literally made about five minutes before this video, um, I was about to transfer Yoda to a new stand, which is here. So um, I'm gonna videotape it because why not, right? So here we go. So basically, this is the stand that I made when I did my Death Star droid sculpt, which you guys may have seen, bug-eyed droid. Uh, I started Yoda on here without much reference based on a uh, sculpture that I, like, a, or a, not a sculpture, one of those, like, a, a, a display Yoda whose whole head was starting to come apart. And I was like, well, you know, I could just, I should just sculpt a new head for him. So I started it. This is a very, like, a quick sculpt. I think I did this in, like, a night or two, just really, really quickly roughed it in. Um, and then literally within, like, a week or two, I ended up getting access to... There goes my phone. Uh, to some of the Yoda stuff, some Yoda parts and uh, Yoda measurements that were really accurate. So I was able to make adjustments and and um, see what needed to change on the sculpture. Uh, in the process, I realized that the neck that I'm sculpting here, there's no way that I can sculpt it down to the size of the actual Yoda sculpture's neck because this pipe is way too big. So I need to transfer everything. Unfortunately. I sculpted this on a, a bucket. There's like a bucket screwed to this pipe and I might be able to undo this and it might save me a lot of time. So there are some screws in the front and the back here. I had to chop out a little bit of Yoda's neck in the front right here so I could get to the screw. And I think if I can get this out, it may be easier to get the sculpture off of the base than I initially thought. Uh, a few days ago, I was looking at it, and I thought it was just going to be this huge chore. And if this works, it'll save me a lot of time. So, let's see if I can get these screws out here. You know what? Why am I screwing around? No pun intended. I, that was really no pun intended. Wow, that was worthless. Let's try this back one here. Look at that. Why did I use it for? Ah, yes. So... You see I used this, this bucket. Now, I used this bucket when I sculpted the Death Star droid head because this bucket is the exact same size as C-3PO's neck, the neck that fits me. So when I was sculpting the Death Star droid, I was using the neck as one of the main measurements. And uh, I thought that would be a handy way to do it. Now I think I can work this thing free and this will save me from having to cut up a ton of sculpture. This clay is pretty hard. You'll see me, I'm like pressing it against my chest and everything, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter all that much at this moment. So, yeah, there we go. It's coming undone. This is way less exciting than I thought. Uh, initially, I thought I was going to have to like chop this thing apart. And, uh, do way way more more work to this than I'm going to right now so this is good I may still have to cut this plastic which is all right I do like these these containers for C3PO's neck so I'm going to try to cut this without um, turn the speaker down here that my computer's on it's making strange noises in the background I'm going to try to cut this in a way that allows me to maybe still use this plastic in the future. See here, and this is kind of like cutting the uh, stormtrooper parts where when you cut it, you can score it and then split it along the score if I did it enough, which I didn't of course. That's all right. I'll just cut this thing out. It is fine. Now you can't see what I'm doing in here. I'm just basically cutting the plastic and tearing this thing out. And it's moving just very slowly. Let's see if I got another razor so I can reach in here. Yeah, go back to the scissors again. Get another pair of scissors out. And then I have a pair on my bench already. I 
should the pair on my bench might be better for this. They're a little more heavy duty. There we go. Let's see if this helps at all. Now what I should have done is warmed up my crock pot full of clay so that I could block this back in a little bit more easily. But I'll just have to do that later. And it's not really a big deal, so. Um, and I'm not super worried about damaging the sculpture a little bit because if you'll notice I'm just hanging onto his face and everything. Uh, this is again, this is just roughed in. It's 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 a quick sculpt, it's not anything you know, I haven't gotten into the major details or even checked really to see if all my dimensions are completely correct. So it's gonna have to get redone anyway. Uh, if you ever sculpt things like this, don't be scared to make changes. I think that's the thing doing any artwork at all is that when you paint something, for example, if you, if you do a portrait of somebody and the eyes come out really good, but the head is misproportioned, you're gonna have to change those eyes p potentially, or you're gonna have to change something that you might already be attached to. So it's good to not get too attached to things that you're making in that way. And that's something that took me a long time to to figure out because uh, again if, if you get too attached one part might be good but if the overall the overall piece isn't good it's not gonna matter in the long run so if you uh, you know if you're scared to change things it could have it could uh, negatively impact the overall outcome of whatever it is you're making whereas if you, you've done some part that's really good but you need to change it like you can you can do it again if, if you need to fix it and redo the whole thing, it's fine. You'll be able to do it, and you'll just get better. So don't be scared to change stuff like that. Ah, guys, this is so close to coming out of here, but there's a little lip on the side of the container that is catching. And it's, it's coming out, but there it goes. So this little ring that's around the edge here was grabbing on the inside, so I couldn't just pull it straight out. So here we go. We have a hollow... Yoda. It's almost a, a puppet right now. It's probably like 15 pounds of the clay. Nah, not that much. Give me 10. So here's a new stand, much narrower. And that should fit right on there like that. So I'm gonna kind of cinch the neck up, and then later, later tonight, I'll have the crock pot heated up, and I will get this thing placed exactly where I want it and then fill it in with hot melted clay and then this will be ready to go again and I'll start sculpting on this again and I'll do progress videos of that. And this is another one of these like super long term projects. I don't have any kind of like finishing goal for this. It's just a thing that when I'm in the mood to sculpt it's a thing that I can go sculpt on and uh, should be good. This, if you're wondering about the, uh, the bearing here, this is from a uh, a grocery store. I think I should mention this in a, a video a long time ago. It's by Copco. C-O-P-C-O. -C -O. used to be all white with a black thing, but it's actually, um, this is actually silver from when I was doing my C-3PO chroming. This is uh, the spray silver. So it's all silver and it's tarnished, which is why it's like this weird brownish color. Um, but, so yeah, there's Yoda's new stand. I'll get them all straightened out and good, and then We'll be back to work on Yoda a little bit from time to time. Whenever I sculpt on him, I might do these as like live stream videos and then sit here and chat. If you have questions or whatever, I can sculpt and, add and answer questions. But again, this is gonna be sporadic. So be on the lookout. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you guys soon.